It's not a secret that we all love the NASCAR line, right? I mean, it was a huge success bringing back the missing Piston Cup sponsors from Cars 3, like Fiber Fuel here, you have Retread, Sidewall Shine, Shifty Drug, and now we have Rowdy Rev and Bush out there, the next-gen hostile takeover bank racer, along with redesigning some of our fan favorite racers from Cars 3, like Lightning McQueen, Bubba Wheelhouse, Jackson Storm, Chase Racelet, and the list goes on. But you guys know the term though, right? Never satisfied. Now to be completely honest with you, don't get me wrong, I am a big fan of the NASCAR line. However, I was a little suspicious when it first started and I still am a little annoyed about this. But basically my main gripe with it is that Mattel didn't fully modernize these designs as they should have like Pixar and Disney did for Cars 3. Like, you know, you look at Vinyl Toupee, you look at Krusty Roder, and then you look at Will Rush, the next gen, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I could see like 10 plus years of branding evolution in those two racers. But I look at Rush Kerber here alongside Gogo Logano, and I don't see that. I see maybe a year or two of evolution. And that's okay, like we all know that Disney and Pixar didn't really have a hand in making these designs. It was Mattel on their own, and Mattel is not an animation, like they don't really have that much creative power. I mean, they sure do, but compared to Pixar, eh, maybe not. And so we all kind of gave them a break and all of that, and so that's why we now leave it to customizers to satisfy that kind of modernization of these Pissing Cup sponsors. And so that brings me to this amazing custom here by Thomas Hatfield and Jim Scavenger. Of course, Thomas Hatfield made the design, and you guys should remember that from my missing sponsors video almost, I think it was two years ago now. I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. This is like the fourth one we've done of his so far, and that obviously just leads now Shifty Drug. But you guys remember we did the Next Gen Hostile Takeover Bank Racer. We did just a few months ago the Next Gen Taco Min, who's actually amazing because Mattel hasn't even done that one yet in the NASCAR line. You have Retread and Sidewall Shine here as well. So a great little bunch here. We have you know Thomas Hatfield and Jim Scavenger's own little Next Gen Piston Cup team here. So I cannot wait to get on here with the fiber fuel version that they did. And I'll leave you know their contact info in the description below. They are great, such creative minds. I'm so happy to see this diecast brought to life here. So we're just going to dive right on in. I will toss a couple pictures on the screen there of Thomas Hatfield's original concept. You can see he did like a front or a side view rather than an aerial view. And then he also just kind of designed the logo there. Very, very impressive. What I love the most about it is that it's so different. I would never have imagined like fiber fuel to look like this, you know, to kind of diverge from like the bright yellow and red and orange and all that to a much more subtle beige and maroon tone. And I absolutely adore it because you just don't see anything like it out there. It makes it unique, makes it stand out from all those blue green next gens that we see. I mean, honestly, pretty much half the field is either blue or green or probably even more than that. So it's really refreshing to see something like this. And like when I was looking at other next gens to kind of compare them to, there's nobody. And I guess that's, you know, that's a good thing. That's a testament to how unique this one is. I do have George Newen here because, you know, I guess they're kind of similar, right? But even them, not really. So really impressed with that design from Thomas Hatfield. I think that it was you know, a great direction to go with the brand, the company, the sponsor, whatever you want to talk about it as. Definitely just diversifies the Piston Cup Racer field. Now onto the custom itself here. Jim Scavenger did a phenomenal job you know, bringing it to life, of course. You got the blue eyes there, just kind of like a basic next-gen growl. <laughs> I wonder what next gen he used. So we have a Vietnam one. That's interesting. I hmm. wonder who he used since he used the Vietnam one. Maybe it was like a NASCAR. Maybe he actually did use not kind of Bengogo Logano. Hmm. I wonder who he used. You guys let me know who you think it was. But anyway, you have the black rims with the black light year tires. I think that looks really good on him. And there you have the fiber fuel, the new fiber fuel logo on the hood. 
a very thin font kind of slanted there off to the side. And then you have like these abstract wheat patterns on the hood. So more of an abstract one there and then some more realistic ones on the roof as well and back here. Very, very nice. 56 in the same kind of slanted thin font. And a very simplistic design here on the side. You have that realistic wheat field. The contingency sponsors there. 56 again. A little maroon stripe down here. Exhaust pipes, gas cap. This is my favorite part, I think. The spoiler just looks so clean. It almost looks like he engraved the text into the spoiler. Obviously, it's not, but did such a great job with it. I love the little wheat circular logo there in the center. Big fan of that. On the back here, you have that same exact logo just now You know, on the metal. Rookie racing stripes because he is a rookie. Just such a great design. I'm a big fan. I love the color as well. As I've already talked about, you know, if I didn't already make that clear, I love the color. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you prefer this to Go Go Logano? I'm just going to be bold and say yes, I do. Because it makes sense. Like, <laughs> this, oh, I just, I don't know. Obviously, Fiber Fuel, well, Go Go Logano is one of the more different ones compared to Brush Kerber or compared to like the original stock car because they added a lot more red to it, changed up the logo a little bit. But the main problem with me is like they kept the same paint job like entirely, like the same exact color, same font for fiber fuel. Still have like the little wheat patch in the center there. I think they did a decent job on GoGo, -Go, but for example, like Carson Ace Dillon and... Who's the other one I'm really not a big fan of? I think William Byreb's just weird. Like they made him so dark. I'm not a big fan of that one. Definitely my least favorite. But yeah, even Mattel should know better than to <laughs> put the slogan on next gen. Almost every next gen had their slogan removed by Pixar. So yeah, now comparing GoGo -Go here to the custom. I mean, yeah, they're just insanely different. <laughs> Maybe we can imagine that this was like, you know, the next gen in present day and then the customs one that's, you know, way, way out into the future. Like a next gen, like the fifth generation or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, also he didn't have to change the number to 22, kept it as 56. Obviously this isn't based on, you know, Joey Logano, the real life NASCAR driver. But like I was talking about the color, even if they did, like if Pixar and Disney chose not to eliminate fiber fuel, that would have been great because then you would have had like another yellowish orange next gen there along with Leakless and it would have again diversified the field. Throw out Clutch Aid, throw out Little Torquey Pistons, throw out Gasper, and I think all of those are very bottom tier sponsors, at least in my opinion, they're definitely not some of my favorites. And they're all like the same exact color scheme, man. You know, they just have dark blue and then some other little colors tossed in there. I think this would have been way more unique. And yeah, I'm really excited about this custom. I think it might even be my favorite of, you know, the whole Thomas Hatfield Jim Scavenger collection. I don't know. It's tough to compete with Taco Min here, though. Jen Skidmore. Now, this one does have a name. I'm sorry. I don't know it off the top of my head. But you'll see it in the title there. You'll see it in the description. I will look it up for that. But yeah, dang, I really should know about there. No, this is Jen Skidmore. Who was it? This was Noel Spiller. This was Nick Hicks. This was Jen Skidmore. And this was Jordan Stove Bolt. So yeah, there you go, Disney Docket. You know all of them except for Fiber Fuel. Bravo. <laughs> no big deal. But yeah, let's pull up the entire Fiber Fuel team now. So there you have Brush Kerber. Put Joey Logano off to the side there. We have Joey Logano's little pit stop barrier. Factory Custom Crew Chief. And then we have our God Tier member back here. You guys know what makes this God Tier? That is indeed the custom. Oh my God. That is indeed the canceled Fiber Fuel Semi Cab from 2010 and then the trailer is a custom by Jim Scavenger. So 
Lots of cool stuff here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye now. Aha, I just looked it up, and Thomas Hatfield named this guy Chuck Kerber, so some descendant of Brush Kerber. Definitely, probably, you know, maybe son, maybe nephew, something like that. I like to speculate on that little family heritage in the fiber fuel branding. But yeah, seriously, guys, now, thank you for watching. Bye now.